Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another AR tutorial and happy Independence Day to all the Indians out there. Today we are going to see how to capture the AR experience that you have built in the previous tutorials. We will be using the same code that we have used in our object placement and pinch to zoom tutorials. So if you have not seen those tutorials earlier, you can go and watch them. We will be adding more codes to the, those scripts to capture the image that we are rendering. Now basically if you take the camera image directly then the AR objects that you are placed in your scene will not be available in that camera image. So there is no other option other than taking a screenshot of your device. So let's see how to create a button and when the user presses the button the app should basically take the screenshot and save it on the device. So let's create the UI first. So we'll add UI button. Okay. I'm going to call the button capture. So the text also should be capture. Okay. Now let's see where is the button. It's over here. Okay. Let's make the button round. And let's make it square. Okay. Uh, the button is too big. So let's reduce it. 70 by 20. Okay. Then I'll go to the text and I'll say auto size. Okay. Now this looks good. Now I have a raycast script which will basically raycast from my camera to the detected planes and then place my cube on the plane. I'm going to add the capture code to the raycast script. So let's open it. Okay. So after the update, I'm going to say public void uh, capture image. Okay, and then I'm going to say screen capture dot capture screenshot, and then I'll be giving the file name as my pick dot png. So that's it. This is just a simple single line code. So it will take the screenshot from your device and save it at the persistent data path. And if you don't know where the persistent data path is, you can go to Unity Manual. I'll leave the link in description. And as you can see, I'm going to run it on Android. So in Android, it's going to be storage, emulated data package name and files. So these images will not reflect on inside your gallery because these are stored inside the application's data. So we'll be making a separate tutorial on how you can make these images appear on the gallery. But for this tutorial, the files that we are going to capture will be available in the paths mentioned in this document. Now you have to assign the function to the button click. So select the button, click on the plus sign on the on click, drag and drop AR session origin, and make sure you select Rekha script capture image. Just save the scene and build and run. Everything should be fine. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.